HIV infects a person, this was already known, its DNA, it makes a copy of its DNA and inserts it actually into your DNA so it becomes part of you. And so the current treatments stop the virus from being produced, but they don't get rid of the DNA. That's Martin Schiller, executive director of the Nevada Institute of Personalized Medicine. He and his team have designed a protein that may one day lead to the eradication of the HIV virus. Over the past few years, scientists in the world have invented a new technology called gene editing. And the way this works is you can design a protein that when put into a cell will exactly cut a specific DNA sequence and then the cell tries to repair it. But the repair mechanisms aren't very efficient so it makes mistakes. These mistakes can be made to lead to good mutations or eliminate the mutation altogether. So we designed these custom proteins to target only a region of the HIV that's really important for it to function. And so when we put these into cells and culture, we can show that it can cut the HIV DNA efficiently and that when it repairs it, it makes mistakes. And not only that, now the new cell that has this broken HIV DNA doesn't make virus anymore. Schiller knows this process works in a laboratory dish. The next step is getting it to work in animals. If we use this with current HIV therapies, which stop viral production, this could be a means of eradicating the virus. It's great working with Dr. Schiller because I was able to come in here as a sophomore in my undergraduate career, and it's been an amazing learning experience alongside classes for me, because not only do I get to um, learn biology and through my undergrad, but I also got to apply that biology firsthand. Uh, generally, when we're, we're working, we do a lot of brainstorming. Uh, I have a lot of freedom to be able to do a variety of experiments. You'll get to be on more than one project, which means you have higher probability of getting publications, which is always a good thing when you're a postdoc. Schiller has applied for a patent and says additional work is needed to test for safety and toxicity. Once he has his patent in hand, he'll look for an industry partner. There are lots of applications of this technology. And this technology was produced here at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas.